This video presents new functionality introduced by the Parameter Editing Enhancement Project. The goal of this project is to give the user a way to see how parameters from multiple sources will aggregate at runtime. In prior releases, the user could see similar information by loading a test case for execution and looking in the data view. Parameter editing is possible in five locations within iTest. For a parameters file, on the parameters page. For a session profile, on the parameters page. For a test bed, on the parameters page. As well as the parameters pages for any devices defined within the test bed. And finally, on the parameters page of the test case editor. On this page, we see the parameters that are defined locally against this test case. We can now double-click on the name of a parameter to change its value. We can change the value of the parameter, and we can change the description as well. Undo and redo is supported. This test case uses a testbed as a local testbed. By clicking this checkbox, we see how the parameters defined locally within the test case and those parameters defined in the testbed will aggregate at runtime. Locally defined parameters appear without an icon and the resolved column is empty. For parameters whose value or presence was determined by advanced merging behavior settings, we see a link to the location where the parameter or its value was altered. Mousing over that link, we see a tooltip that identifies the exact location of the resource where the parameter settings were changed. We can click on that link and it opens the editor where the parameter is defined. To illustrate how this works, we can make some changes to the advanced merging behavior for some of the parameters defined in the testbed. We need to make sure to save those changes. Upon returning to the test case editor, we see that the view has refreshed, and we now see the result of the changes in the advanced merging behavior.